a forgiveness meditation, okay, um, specifically focused on um, depression. So please take a comfortable seat, um, either sitting up or lying down. If you're sitting up, um, make sure you um, still lie down with the dignity of a king or queen. And if you sit up, please sit with the dignity of a king or queen with either, either your eyes closed or open. And if they're open, to please focus um, and not move your eyes around. Again, bringing your um, your attention gently to the heart space and breathing in and out of it. And the first step in this forgiveness meditation really for the experience of depression is to allow the memories and images and emotions that you've harbored and held so long in your mind uh, to arise in your mind. Just letting those secrets and sorrows come to your attention recalling things situations experiences feelings that you label depression Expressing yourself too much, not expressing yourself enough, staying in relationships too long or not long enough, whatever they are. You know, whatever you've never forgiven yourself for. whatever you've resisted. And you can ask yourself, can I accept that I'm an ordinary human being with some skillful qualities and some unskillful qualities? You can ask yourself, haven't I suffered enough from these thoughts, feelings, actions? I can use these feelings or thoughts or experiences it's groundwork for readiness to open my heart to myself. You can repeat these phrases. I forgive myself for whatever I did, intentionally or unintentionally, that has resulted in these difficult negative mind states, including depression. I forgive myself for whatever I did, intentionally or unintentionally, that's given rise to these feelings. May I be happy and free from confusion. 
May I accept myself. May I be free from confusion and under. May I be free of confusion, confusion and misunderstanding. Again, the questions: Can I accept that I'm an ordinary person? I have some unskillful qualities, and I have some good qualities. And haven't I suffered enough? Can I open my heart to myself? And accept that these experiences have allowed me to grow, and I can learn from them, no matter how painful and difficult. I forgive myself for whatever I did, intentionally or unintentionally. May I be happy, free from confusion. Free of confusion and free of misunderstanding. Now imagine in front of you a person that you love and want to forgive. And you can allow what you need to forgive. To arise in your mind and heart. If tears come, it's okay. Difficult emotions arise; it's normal. If resistance arise, arises, I don't want to forgive. It's normal too. So we say, to the extent that I am able, can I accept this person as a human being with skillful and unskillful qualities? We don't demand it of ourselves. We open our hearts to allow that forgiveness to happen. We set the conditions. From my heart, I forgive you for whatever you did, intentionally or unintentionally, that may have contributed to this depression, to these difficult mind states. From my heart, I forgive you for whatever you did, intentionally or unintentionally. That have contributed to this depression, or to these difficult mind states. May you be happy, free of confusion, and may you understand yourself. May you be happy. May you be free of confusion, and may you understand yourself. You can please forgive me for whatever I did to you, intentionally or unintentionally. Please forgive me for whatever I did to you, intentionally or un- unintentionally. May we open our hearts and minds to meet in understanding. This doesn't mean you have to develop or sustain a relationship to these people who have hurt or harmed you or contributed 
to the depression. Sometimes it's good to let go. The Buddha walked away from a lot of painful and experiences or from unskillful situations, but he didn't close his heart down. He always wished these people well. So whether these people continue to be in your life or whether you've walked away from them for whatever reasons or they've walked away from you for whatever reasons, we can still try to let our hearts open. And notice, what does this do to the feelings of depression in my body and mind? What does it do when you recollect things that you have held that have contributed to your depression? Things that you've never admitted? Or blaming yourself, blaming others? And things that you resent about other people and how they've treated you? What does it mean to really let those things in? And to the extent that you're able to forgive yourself? You can imagine somebody in front of you that you know you hurt. That you know you did unskillful things to out of your own pain. You know, why do we hurt anybody? Why do we hurt ourselves? You know, we hurt ourselves to punish ourselves and we hurt other people because we don't want to feel our own pain. So the Buddha taught us just to acknowledge that we all have hurt other people. We don't have to get bogged down on whether they deserved it or I'm a bad person. We just acknowledge it. May I forgive myself. May I forgive whatever I've done to hurt you intentionally or unintentionally out of my pain and depression. Please forgive me for whatever I've done to you intentionally or unintentionally from this depression or these painful mind states. Please forgive me for whatever I did to you intentionally or unintentionally. And may we open our hearts and minds and meet in understanding. Trying to feel the letting go of any of the hurts and sorrows that you've carried around that have contributed to what we call depression, pain, sorrow, anger, too much sleep, lack of sleep, feeling we want to hurt ourselves, zone out. Just allowing that to float away by the hurt you've received and the hurt you've given. I love that these noble beings say that, you know, we're, we're all kind of doing the best we can 
in a difficult situation with minds that are poisoned, minds that are wounded. And we can only take care of ourselves. We can't control any situations. Forgiveness is a form of taking care of our depression. Recollecting skillful qualities is another way of taking care of our depression. Depression is fluid, it's impermanent. There's ways to help alleviate it. And two of the ways is one way is forgiveness, and the another way is recollecting skillful qualities. There's also offering yourself loving kindness. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be free from suffering. May I be free from the suffering of depression, difficult mind states. May I forgive myself, forgive others. And just imagine yourself being blessed by all the Buddhas and all the universes who are really rooting for us to forgive ourselves, heal ourselves, so we can be better people in the world, help other suffering beings through kindness and compassion and friendliness. Just allowing that energy of pure beings who are really rooting us on. They're rooting for us. Heal yourselves. Heal those wounds. Release yourself to the extent that you're able. Remember your goodness. Allow those wounds to heal, not fester. To the extent that you're able, forgive others who have hurt you out of their own pain and ignorance. Again, acknowledging the courage to be here. You can open your hearts and accept the encouragement and love from these Buddhas and enlightened beings cheering you on from above and around you blessing you to the extent that you're able you can radiate whatever love and compassion you have towards yourself within yourself just allow it to pulsate through your body and mind the release of forgiveness the saturation of love and compassion. Accepting forgiveness as an option, as an antidote to depression, difficult mind states. Focusing that energy on your heart, you can once again offer yourselves the phrases of loving kindness. May I be happy. May I be peaceful and free from mental and physical suffering. And may I be filled with loving kindness. allowing the depression whatever negative feelings to float through you and allow those feelings of loving kindness to saturate you 
and acknowledging forgiveness of others and asking forgiveness, receiving forgiveness. Generating love and kindness for just the human condition. What a mess. Just as a way of closing, just reflecting on the fact that even a a milligram of less suffering that we can release is less suffering of the sorrows of the world and the universe. What a wonderful contribution. So may our hearts be filled with loving kindness. And may all the hearts of all beings in all directions be filled with love and kindness, be filled with skillful mind states, forgiving mind states, sublime mind.